Uh, hi, I'm Matt Kusera. I'm doing a video today on recording the signal chain uh, for the intro to music production class at Coursera. And so here I uh, will show you. We have our guitar here. Uh, let's say we want to record that. Uh, how are we going to do that? Uh, so we'll come over here. This is our microphone. This is a Samson CO3 condenser microphone, um, which is a pretty good microphone I use to record a lot of guitars um, my, through my amp. And uh, yeah, it's about $200, I think. But anyway, this is a condenser microphone, so you're going to get a much better sound than, it, say, using a dynamic microphone. Um, it gives you a more broad range of frequencies. Um, so yeah, it goes through the uh, cable here, which is a uh, XLR cable. Um, so then that comes down over here to the mixer. Oh, this is an Alesis mixer, USB. Oh, this is a really nice one because I can record on all the channels independently at the same time. Um, so this goes into our first channel, and you turn the level up, um, and this, again, using this kind of microphone, you're going to use phantom power, uh, which is a switch on the back, so that delivers 48 volts uh, electricity to the microphone, so the microphone works. Um, yeah, so that goes in here. It's, uh... Let's see, yeah, there's the, uh, the gain pot here. So this gives you your pre-amplification. And uh, that goes into the... Let's see, what's next? After that, the dig AD uh, analog digital conversion. Uh, then you got your EQs here you can mess with. I like to keep those flat usually, not uh, turning those up or down. Um, so yeah, about this, trying to keep it at Unity, this one doesn't really tell you where Unity would be, so I just kind of put it at a level, and uh, it's not always the best, I guess, for a Unity gain. <coughs> but yeah, so that goes uh, out here through, I have this set up to the control room out, then uh, that feeds in. Well, actually, this system is USB, so this is my USB cable. It goes into the computer, which is all behind here, behind my TV. Um, let's see, I record on a laptop with a broken off screen. Um, yeah, it just connects to the USB. I guess I could show you the computer screen. So this goes into the DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. I use Adobe Audition. Um, this would be our first track here. Then, uh, yeah, basically it gets routed to the master out, which is on the far right over there. And then from there it goes back out to the mixer. And at that point it goes into these RCA cables, which is connected to uh, my stereo system. Which here I have a quadraphonic stereo, so I have four speakers plugged into it. Uh, these aren't really uh, specifically for recording or mixing. They're the home theater style speakers, which aren't as good. I just haven't really invested in you know getting any specialized speakers. I also have a subwoofer, which I highly recommend getting uh, to really hear those low-end frequencies um, which is really important for hearing exactly what's going on without those you're just getting a kind of a middle ground um, yeah also if you could get some tweeters which would give you uh, the higher end response uh, basically it would be a good idea so you know hearing what you're actually recording uh, the authentic sound would be really important for mixing Otherwise, you could end up, you know, destroying your recordings and not really getting a good sound out of the, you know, an accurate sound of what you're doing. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's uh, pretty much all I can think of right now. If I missed anything, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, that's the basics of recording an acoustic guitar into your computer. Thanks.